Welcome to possibly my biggest update yet. Look at this. Yeah. This is going to take absolutely forever. So, we are not even going to do any introduction. We're just going to get started right now so I can get this over as quickly as possible. So, let's do this. Here we go. This one's in a white clamshell, unlike the usual black clamshell. I might peel off the end label sometime. I'll have to check, I'll have to check this one to see if it has a black screen of death at the end. This is a pretty rare tape, so I just figured I'd pick it up. November 5th, 2004. Even though this is a Knight's High 5 clamshell repackaging, the tape itself is still the original Knight's High 1 VHS from RC Columbia Pictures on video. 41st week of Knight's High 2 and good barcode. tan lid on there. There's the tray. Yeah. Sorry if I if I don't go into much detail on a lot of these, it's because uh, I have so much to get through. So we just so we gotta make this quick. Now onto the slip covers I got. I just thought this tape was really cool, so I figured I'd just pick it up. I figured I'd just pick it up. Yep, this tape is an Avon copy. October 14th, Night Side 3, and this tape is in L e EP mode. This tape is still sealed, as you can see. So we're going to open it right now. You're probably wondering why I got another copy of this tape. Well, A, this copy actually has the sticker, the front label on it, which my other copy did not. And this one does come with the bonus trivia card. Yeah, my other copy was missing this. So, 
Yeah. This is from Parade Video. For some reason, the label is upside down on this one. And yes, this tape is an EP mode, like most Parade Video tapes. There is a there is a blockbuster date, but it's blocked by the Amvets uh, thrift store sticker. And yes, I did get this at Amvets thrift store. This next tape is extremely rare. On the count of three, I'll show it. One, two, three. I was very surprised when I came across this tape today. I knew I had to get it. Gold vertical sticker label. January 15th, 1995. June 19th and June 25th, 1992. Eighth week of night type four printing, so we all know what it has at the end. This is a double feature screener of Ava's Magical Adventure and The Worst Witch, both from uh, Prism Entertainment. August 4th, 1994. Alright. August 2nd, 1996. August 22nd, 1996, so 20 days after the French Lieutenant's Woman. Tape uses the Orion Home Video sticker label. Printing is March 30th, 1998. February 15th, 1992. This was one of two, par two uh, Saturday Night Live tapes that were released by Paramount. The other one was The Best of Eddie Murphy, which I, ha which I have as well. Second week of Night Type 4, good barcode. Ah. All 
right. This has He's All Yours and Howard's Girl. This has Joe, which is the premiere episode, and you can go home again. This has Phyllis, which is the premiere episode, and Bless Is You a Woman Now. This episode is from 1964. We all know what this might have at the end. Episodes are Smoking Guns and Sheriff Missing. Thirtieth week of nineteen ninety. And there's the barcode on this tape. This has The Sound of Money, When Mother Gets Married, and Double Trouble. 27th week of Night Side 8. This tape is in EP mode, so we all know what it has at the end. This has Sowl, Soul Club, A Man Called Snake, and I Left My Heart in Cincinnati. 28 week of night tonight 8 and it has a blue sides on the barcode EP mode so we also know what it has at the end Eighth week of 1996 This next one is from Playhouse Video. Yes, this is this is basically a prequel film to Butch Casting the Sundance Kid, which I have on VHS as well. I actually have on VHS and Beta, actually. You guys are going to like this one as well. I, I know Ty Trisha 2 is back. We'll definitely be surprised to... Uh, to see that I have this one. You guys ready? You guys ready to see this? On the count of three, I'll show it. One, two, three. Yep, this is the 1981 magnetic video VHS of 42nd Street. How cool is that? I was I was very shocked when I found this tape at Savers Day, and I just knew I had to get it. Tan lid on there. And print date is the 11th week of 1981. So yeah, another magnetic video of each us for the collection. Awesome. I'm not sure if I'm gonna I'm gonna check that one to see if it has like a vertical roll problem or anything like that. Cause I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep my I might I may still keep my MGM copy of that film. If that if that copy has like a vertical roll problem or Something like that.
EP mode. This one I think will probably have the strange beach chest ending. Good times tape, so we all know what it has at the end. Yeah, the reason I'm not, or the reason why I'm not going into too much detail on these is because I have I have a lot to get through. I don't want this to take too long. Seventeenth week of night type five, good barcode. Finally got the Columbia TriStar print of this film. I can finally donate my Good Times copy. 36 week of 1995. This is volume 9, which has When the Wind Blows, The Pooch, Mush and Milk, and Framing Youth. This is volume 14, which has Bedtime Worries, Wild Poses, Male and Female, and Derby Day. Front cover opens up like this. March 19th and March 20th, 2001. I'm, I'm going to have to check this one to see if it has any unusual ending or anything like that. Since most, since some older Republic picture tapes usually have very unusual endings. As you would know if you've seen some of my videos. Twenty ninth week of nineteen ninety two. July 27th, 1991, and the 31st week of 1991. We all know what it has at the end, since it has a print date. And is there a print date on Cat Girl? No, there isn't. The 48th week of 1999. Twentieth week of nineteen ninety one. Oh, and uh, May eighth, nineteen ninety one, and the twentieth week of nineteen ninety one. We all know what it has at the end, since it has a print date. Forty second week of nineteen ninety seven. Finally got a copy of this tape that's actually in a slipcover, not in a uh, cut box. Or a copy of this film, I should say. 19th week of 1990. 40th week of 1994. And printings, so we all know what it has at the end. Twenty ninth week of night side three, and once again, printings, so we all know what it has at the end.
50, first week of 1997. Nineteenth week of nine twenty four. Once again, printings. So we all know what it. It's been a long day. We all know what this has at the end. It's got this thing right here. That's weird. Maybe this was part of a box set at some point. I'm not sure. 39th week of 1999. This is from the adult drama genre. See if I can quickly peel back the end label, see what the print dates are. April 25th and April 26th, 1988. I'm going to have to check this one to see if it has a black screen death at the end. This is from the adult action genre. February 6, 1997. October 16th, 1997. January 12th and January 22nd, 2002. Got the barcode right there. Uh, there is a there is a printer right here, but it's completely smeared, so I can't even read it. But it is printed in the 24th week of night type 1. Still, we know what it has. We probably know what it has at the end since it has a print date. The label's missing on this tape, unfortunately. The 19th week of 1995. And the barcode's fallen off, too. Includes the original theatrical trailer. Uh, 25th, 25th week of Night Type 4. And I think that's either a good barcode or a boring barcode. Can't really tell which one. Uh, 
29th week of Night Sight 5, and, uh, Boring Barcode, I think. Sometimes I have a hard time telling the difference between a good barcode and a boring uh, barcode. You guys want to know what's rare about this one? 2,000 reprint. And, guess what? The printing on here is January 13th, 2004. I'm not kidding. So yeah, this this is an extremely late uh, reprint. Yeah, this tape this is extremely rare. I'm de definitely keeping that one. Twenty fifth week of nineteen ninety two and good barcode. This is another two thousand reprint tape. December sixteenth, two thousand. Right here it says eleven ten nine. I think I think they meant to put January. T I mean November tenth, nineteen ninety. But the uh, the last zero got like sm faded, got faded out or something. So I think this has a printing of November tenth, nineteen ninety. I think, yeah. Uh, July 4th, 1996. <laughs> this tape is still sealed. So we are going to get this out of the shrink wrap. This is a Warner Home Video reprint. August 8th, 2003. Print date's blocked by an N label. This film is public domain, but MGM did release this VHS of it as well in uh, Night Side 1. There is this end label right here, but I can still kind of read the print date. Looks like October 1st, 1991.
pause the video if you want to read the facts from the vault. Once again, the print date is blocked by an end label. Facts from the vault. Uh, Saratoga trunk does not contain does not contain the original Fiasco trailer, and neither does this one. May eighteenth, two thousand. And this next one, this next one is one that I used to have, but then I got rid of it, and now I finally have it again. You ready? You ready to see this, guys? I finally got this one back in the collection. Ready? Three, two, one. Yep, I finally got the vintage classics printing of the Lion Winter back in my collection. As some of you may remember, I used to have this tape, and then I replaced it with my 25th anniversary VHS copy. But now, but now that I am, but now that I'm trying to collect the entire MGM Vintage Classics VHS lineup, I I was very happy to uh, have this I'm very, I'm very happy to have this one again finally so yeah so yep I finally got this one back in my collection this one does contain the original theatrical trailer pause the video if you want to read the facts from the vault so yeah March 18th, 2000. Very, very cool. That I finally have that one. That I finally have that one again. Next one, you guys are gonna like this. I finally, I finally got another Shirley Temple 2001 reprint tape. Yep, I finally got the 2001 reprint of Little Miss Broadway. I know video lover and boy. I know both the Veal Lover and Troy Devaney have this one as well, and now I finally have it in my collection. This one was originally Volume 12, and yes, after after I finish filming this update, I will do a comparison on three different versions of Little Miss Broadway. January 25th, 2001, and January... 28th, 2002, and printed in the 10th week of Night's Night 8, so this is obviously a recycled tape. Just like Troy Devaney and the Veil Overs copies, this has the same opening as the Night's Night 5 VHS. Alright. We're almost done, guys. This is episode 8. Six week of 1985. The reels are extremely old, as you can see. Episode 9. Eighteenth week of 1990, 1985, I meant. Episode 12, the labels are both missing on this one, unfortunately, and there's actually no weekend year code on this tape, which is, re which is really bizarre. This is episode 19. Uh, 
January 19th, 1987, and it's got blank 75. We all know what this has at the end, so this has a print date. 64. Sixteenth week of nineteen eighty-eight. Episode sixty-five. Sixteenth week of nineteen eighty-eight. Episode 79. 16th week of 1988, and if you look closely... Uh... Yep, can you see that? Hold on. Yep, you see that, right? Yep, so we, all, so we all know what this will have at the end. The last two VHSs are two tape sets. Well, we almost got through this whole thing before my camera shut off again. Anyway, I was in the middle of showing this tape. Like I said, Part 1 and Part 2. Part 1's print date is July 6th, 1995, and Part 2's print date is July 5th, 1995. And lastly... Part 1 and Part 2. Part 1 has two print dates, October 9th, and Halloween Nights Night 2, and Part 2 is just printed on Halloween Nights Night 2. There's no second uh, print date. Is that my biggest update ever, or what, guys? I don't know about you, but uh, I'm impressed. So, uh, that's it for this video, and bye.